And another family is in mourning today after their loved one, a father of seven and a SEPTA conductor was gunned down outside his Germantown home. Philadelphia police now believe this was a case of mistaken identity. And Kelly, you spoke with his family today? Shiba, I did, and as you can imagine, they are absolutely devastated. They say he worked hard, loved his job, and the rest of his time was spent at home with his family. Seven kids ranging in the ages from 4 to 20 years old. They are now asking the person or people that did this to turn themselves in. He was their hero, every last one of them. You know, from the little one to the big one. Family members say this is 37-year-old Daniel Ruley with the youngest of his seven children, a four-year-old little girl who just started pre-K last week. She would hear his keys at the bottom of the step and run to the window and say, Daddy's home, mm -hmm. you know, and she don't have that no more. Philadelphia police say Ruley was shot and killed outside of his Germantown home early Monday morning on Washington Lane in what they believe was a case of mistaken identity. We believe that Mr. Ruley is completely innocent. Just before 11 p.m., police say surveillance video captures Ruley walking by a dark colored vehicle, believed to be the shooter's car. Then he drives off to pick up his wife. When he gets back, police say Ruley dropped his wife off at the house, then parked the car. It's at that point in time um, that somebody exits a dark colored vehicle and opens fire on him. It sounds like the, uh, the firearm possibly has a switch attached to it which would render it fully automatic. You can't walk in your house, you can't sit on your steps. When it's gonna stop, you know? I fear for my family, I fear for my family. I don't even know what that shooting was about. A SEPTA spokesperson tells Fox 29 Ruley was an employee for 13 years, recently as a conductor for the regional rail. In a statement, they said in part, they are shocked and saddened by his tragic and senseless murder, and they are making counseling available to his coworkers. Loved ones say the family moved into the Germantown home about three years ago. Literally, this man went to work. He came home. He was all about family, you know, taking his sons to football or, you know, taking his daughter to dance. Just turn yourself in. You had no reason to do this. Again, police say they do have surveillance video of this entire tragic shooting. They do believe there is at least one shooter. They are asking anybody with information to submit a tip anonymously or call police. Sheba. Simply heartbreaking. Kelly, thank you.